Hello, and welcome to Skittles Saturday Suggestions. My name is Sarah Tillinghast. I'm a Platinum Certified Whole Brain Teaching Instructor, and today I want to give you some tips that I've been using during my first week of school with Scoreboard. So I have my scoreboard behind me, as you can see, and I've just put some marks on here. This is like right before Friday in the morning before kids get here. So I just wanted to show with an example. So usually my tally marks don't look this neat, but at the end of instruction, or if you're timing it at the end of the timer going off for five minutes, you'll want to use some reinforcement of math with scoreboard and I do this with my kindergartners. So what I first do is I circle my groups of five. All right, so see I've circled my groups of five and then um, I usually start with the turtle points no matter what. So I say, all right, we have a group of five and one more and then this week since it's the first week of school, I'm actually seeing who may already have some addition skills. So I've been asking, can someone raise a quiet hand and tell me what five and one more is? And then if a student's able to tell me that, then um, I say that's correct. It is six. And I write six and I circle it. Then we come over to the Alpha Hawk side. For this example, I have five and four more. Now, we did have this earlier in the week. Usually I have a lot of hands up for five and one more. They've got it. But for five and four more, I only had one student raise their hand. And guess what? That's okay because he actually knew the answer. So he has a very strong math skills. So as we start to learn addition, I will um, just pick a stick, a share stick. I won't just call on a hand. And starting next week, because we're starting our math curriculum next week, so starting next week, I'm actually gonna be modeling how we count on from five for, um, for the class and then picking a stick of a student who can tell me the answer. So just for this week, I've just been doing a, yeah, little quick um, assessment to see who has some awesome math skills. So let's say that they won. So they've won. So down here at the bottom is my 10 frames. Notice we've already won, we've already earned two stars. So then I would just draw another star in from our 10 frame at the bottom. So how I use scoreboard is after every 10 wins, they get to unlock something, whether it be a special dice. Um, in my room, I use the first 10 wins for Super Improver. You do not have to do that if you are using Alpha Hawk Island though. And then, um, yeah. So if the turtle wins, then we just say we've got grit, we don't quit, all right? And so that's my tips and tricks. And yeah, I hope you've had a great week. If you want to learn some exciting new variations to scoreboard, check out Coach's Saturday Zooms. And I'm actually gonna put the link to those Zooms in the description of this video because they're awesome. I just had a meeting with him last night and he went over them and oh my goodness, they're exciting. Bye.